Welcome to the Red Hat Learning Subscription Online Lab Environment Tutorial. To get started, click the Create button. Just a quick note, most environments use pre-built images which take only a few minutes to get started. So just be patient, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and your environment will be ready for you to start working in in no time. So now that everything's active, let's take a look. The red delete button at the top will delete your entire lab environment along with any of the work you've done. Don't delete your environment until you've finished all your work in the course. Next is the stop button. This will change your machines from an active state to a stopped state. Stopping your machines at the end of a learning session will ensure that your lab hours are being used in a productive way. Next, let's take a look at our virtual machines. To help us get started, let's take a look at the lab environment orientation graphic, which is located in the student guide. In the example here, you can see that our student workstation is connected to server A and server B, as well as the student network. The student network is connected to the Bastion server. The Bastion server then connects to the classroom network, which is connected to the internet and facility network, as well as the classroom content materials needed to run the labs and exercises for the course. Let's head back to the lab environment controls page and log into our workstation by clicking on the open console button. As you can see here, we're ready to log in as the student user. I'll use the password student. You'll notice that as you move your mouse around the screen, that you're actually moving a little circle icon. The virtual machine's cursor follows that circle to help you navigate where you want to click. In the top right, there are five icons. The first icon turns that circle off in case you just want to use your virtual machine's arrow icon. The next button allows us to enable host paste. This allows us to copy text using keyboard shortcuts like Control C and Control V from our local machine and then paste that text into our virtual machine. The next button enables a handy virtual keyboard. The Control Alt Delete button allows us to shut down the workstation quickly and easily. The last button is the Send to Text Client button. This button allows us to quickly type or copy paste text into the window, which is then sent to the cursor's position in the client. To make your environment widescreen, click the arrow in the upper right-hand corner. Click the Settings icon, choose Devices, then Displays. And finally, choose a widescreen resolution. And click Apply. Let's switch back to the Lab Environment's main page. At the bottom, we have two timers. Pressing the plus button next to the Auto Stop timer gives our Lab Environment more time before your machines stop. The Auto Destroy timer is different. Once that timer hits zero days, your entire Lab Environment will be deleted and your work won't be recoverable. If you need additional time to continue course, press the plus button before it hits zero. If you find yourself having additional questions or difficulties using the lab environment, we recommend you double check the lab environment orientation section in your course student guide. You can also click the question mark button to view our frequently asked questions document. For any further questions, simply click the support tab in the upper left. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good luck with your labs.